Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's edition of the Daily Market Commentary. It is Wednesday. It's hump day as we are leading into the rest of the week. Uh, Yesterday, we did not have a Daily Market Commentary because we did the live trading room. So we're going to go over some of the things that hit yesterday from the live trading room. Uh, If you missed the live trading room yesterday, we have one more free preview uh, live trading room event tomorrow morning. Uh, Feel free to join us. Go to tradersarmy.com, sign up for the free subscription, and you'll get the email on how to join. All right, let's dive right in. S&P today is down about two and a half points. Uh, however, we got a ni- this that we got a uh, we got a nice little run off of this area. Now I've changed it to a confirmation style entry because we hit it once uh, and then moved down to our target. So the S&P reversal worked out really well. However, since we've hit it once, it's been converted to a confirmation style entry, meaning I'm willing to get short again if we come into the level and then get short as we come back down out of the area. Uh, We were not able to get all the way to target two yesterday, but we did get to target one. Now, big picture wise, um, this little rally hasn't changed my big picture. All we've done is throw another leg higher um, on our continuous downward trend. Our big picture is still bearish uh, in the S&P overall. Same thing with the NASDAQ. So our NASDAQ level uh, met entry, we came down and, uh, and touched target one on the NASDAQ entry as well. Um, this one we are, I'm going to remove at this point uh, because I've got the S&P level in place and we're just about to it at the moment. So both the S&P and the NASDAQ uh, both met entry uh, on their setups and got a little bit of a move away. Now, the NASDAQ, we talked yesterday about how it had some bullish uh, divergence in the in the room, and that's really why we thought we would get a rally back up to that level, and we indeed did. Uh, and, and so, but big picture-wise, when I look at my big picture, you know, I'm still in a downward trend overall, but that downward trend is forming a bit of a base in the NASDAQ. So that makes me look at the Russell, and I don't normally look at the Russell in the uh, daily market commentary, but I want to kind of add it in. So the Russell level that we identified yesterday gave us, this was a little bit of a touch and go. Matter of fact, it was missed it by a tick. So just a hair that it missed the entry by uh, in the Russell. So my guess is most people probably didn't get filled on the Russell trade. Uh, And then the Dow Jones was the other level that we had set up. We've actually just now, we we hit it and moved down in the Dow. We've kind of come back into it as well. So um, keep an eye on, if we are going to get bullish, the Dow is the one to be bullish, but still not yet, not until above 25,807. So all in all, as far as our equity markets go, I'm still overall net bearish, and I would look to this uh, potential reversal trade on a confirmation style entry, and the S&P is the way to go. Crude oil. Oh, this was so frustrating yesterday. So in the room, while we were doing the class yesterday, we identified a potential reversal in crude oil uh, right up here. Now, we, uh, we identified that on the 15-minute chart. So the 15-minute chart, there's that little bit of a level, nice move down. Um, we were in the classroom at about this time of the day. We came really, really close to getting our order filled, knowing that our eventual target was down here at 66.50, and we just missed the order getting filled. Super frustrating when your orders don't get filled. Um, but the level still indeed is valid, uh, and so I'm going to leave it in place. Now it brought us back down to our target area. So we found a little bit of basing down here, and what I need to do is... Get rid of these drawings here. Go take a look at what do we look like on the four-hour chart. Well, on the four-hour chart, the reason we found a little bit of basing uh, is just due to all of this noise over here to the left, where we have a fair amount of, uh, of price basing in here. And that's really where we found the support that we did is off of all of these wicks right here. So there's a little bit of support to be had here. It doesn't change our big picture. Our big picture, once again, um, just like in the uh, in the S and P and the Nasdaq is down, so I'm still a net seller overall on the big picture. Maybe on a smaller time period, can I take a little a little flyer on a run higher? Huh, that rhymes. Take a little flyer on a run higher. Uh, sure, I think you can even get a breakout above 68, 66, 89, and run it up until maybe even sixty seven seventy four. Um, 
you know, this would be right around market open. So I'm going to throw that level in there because I think that's still a pretty good little area uh, if indeed uh, we can make it back to there. I'm not sure that we can. Remember, if it's in purple, it's a slightly lower degree of probability because it was found on a 15-minute chart. So it's a fairly, you know, you might want to give a wider, a wider uh, stop above this, uh, above this upper line here in the, uh, in the area. Okay, but in all in all, I'm still a net seller. Um, you know, you can go long up until that point if indeed you you are willing to take the risk. Now, gold. Gold, we had set up a potential long trade here, and we hit it, and it started to move, and then it went, um, and that just completely fell apart. So gold, uh, though we had the NASDAQ trade that worked out, the S&P trade that worked out, gold trade did not. I fully anticipated this level to be one that would hold. Uh, and we got a little bit of a bounce off of it, but not enough to, to give us a, uh, a semblance of movement. So I've got to remove that. Now, on the four-hour chart, um, that tells me that I should probably just be, a, be waiting at the moment. Um, because if I've, if I've put in a lower low, we, got, we, we broke down below this area here, uh, and, I don't, and I've got a slightly higher high, this tells me that I'm just going to kind of be on the sidelines and wait for just a little bit in gold. No sense in forcing a trade if it doesn't show itself to me. So uh, that one was a stop out, a uh, small loss. Take that one that, when it comes. Bonds. Here's where confirmation entries make you angry. Um, we did not trigger the entry on this trade because to trigger the entry on this trade, we'd have to trade up to 220. Um, so the entry did not trigger. Some of you may have gotten short on that entry uh, as we did get a nice move out of it. I think the level uh, does still have some validity. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do, know that was I'm, I am going to change it just a little bit. Um, and what I'm going to do is tighten it up. So instead of taking the full area, I'm going to tighten it to here um, because we, we caught that bottom part already filled. So I tighten it up just a little bit. So that was a nice entry. Still valid level. Um, I just, I'm just i tightening the entry up because I think we can get another move down out of here. On a four-hour chart, by the way, continuing on that four-hour, uh, it's, it's getting to the point, though, where I may not want to be a seller, right? We're, we're, we're getting higher highs and higher lows. Um, where, you know, if I eclipse this area here, then I'm a buyer, right? And that would be the first time I'm a buyer in bonds in quite a while off that four-hour time period. Uh, in the Aussie, so in the Aussie, we got our confirmation style entry. So the Aussie trade is moving. Uh, if you look at the trade feed from last night, we converted the entry to a confirmation style entry just due to the basing here before the level. The basing before the level changes our entry type. So price came into the level, we got our activation, little move away. We've come back up again, and now we're moving away. I, at this point, I would recommend take the stop, move it to break even. So if you're in the trade, take your stop, move it to break even, uh, so that you uh, have now it's a now we, we call that a free trade stop. Set a free trade stop and let it run. Uh, the euro, we got our breakdown in the euro. So the euro breakout worked out really well. It's continuing uh, its move down. Let's see if it hits its price target. So Aussie and euro both moving well. Uh, Canadian dollar, we did not get our breakout on the Canadian dollar just yet. Both of them are still valid. The breakout above or the breakout below, we just don't have either one uh, in place at the moment. Uh, last, certainly not least, Great British Pound and Japanese Yen. So in our pound trade, um, we have this little bitty area down here that we've come to and gone right through. Um, so this one did not hold out. I was really, I was actually hoping for the pound to give me a rally up into this level and then to come down into this area. Uh, but this area did not, uh, we did not get any sort of reversal off this level at all. So I need to remove that area there in the Great British Pound. In the Japanese Yen. So in the Japanese Yen, uh, we, we had looked at a, uh, a breakdown earlier in the week. I just forgot to delete the line. Uh, that breakdown failed uh, after, after a move up. I talked about it in the live trading room yesterday. Uh, but this is kind of a, price, a magnet for price. This whole area here is kind of a magnet for price. Um, I, I would be tempted to look at this area here if we do get another small rally back up. Um, this area here for a bit of a reversal. Problem is, is this area is a retest of the area to the left, so it is a confirmation style entry going forward. So those are our major markets for the day. 
Uh, if you've got questions, please send us an email, support at tradersarmy.com. Uh, tonight is our Q&A session, so if you are a, a free subscriber, you can attend our Q&A session for tonight. Uh, bring any questions you want. It's kind of like an hour of, of time to just uh, pick uh, pick my brain and talk a little bit uh, in a live uh, environment about what uh, what's happening and ask any questions that you may have. So feel free to, to join us for that. So until tomorrow, everybody, hope you have a great trading day. And I will see you soon. Later.